In this video, I'm doing a position analysis in a match from the 54th Backgammon World Championship in Monte Carlo, Monaco. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos, and I'll work on that. Thank you to Mark Olson, Bill Riles, Backgammon Galaxy, and Ace Point Backgammon for allowing me to use this in this video. So this is a position in a match between Victor Ashkenazi and Wilcox Snellings at the Monte Carlo Open. It's a warm-up event before the main championship event. It's a nine-point match. It's the first game of the match, so the score is 0-0, nine away, nine away. Victor is playing the black checkers at the bottom, Wilcox the white checkers at the top, Victor has a 5-4 to play. Uh, so Victor is ahead in the race by nine pips before the roll. So he'll be ahead 18 pips after the roll. So this is one of those classic pay now versus pay later plays. So here he can break the midpoint, which is good because he wants to break the contact being up so far in the race and bring two down. But that would leave a direct one shot. On the other hand, he could just break his nine point and bring two checkers in. Uh, that would be safe for now, uh, but then he would have to do something about his midpoint. So it looks like here it's actually better to break the nine point here and leave this and make the safe play. The key here is timing and white. Uh, is running out of timing. So if white rolls a six, he's going to have to play off um, the eight point here and play inside. If you change it by moving this checker here back, now white has a little bit more timing to play a six. It becomes more urgent to break the midpoint. So now it's it's worth it. It's, it's slightly better, they're, they're uh, about tied. It's about 99% in favor of breaking the midpoint. But if you go back and look here, here breaking the midpoint is an error. So this is a nice lesson uh, as to how to make variance of a position. If you don't understand uh, why a play is right, what you do is you make a variance. So this was the original position. And a variant is you just change the position by moving a checker one or two pips in either direction or change some sort of aspect of the position. And then you see when the top play changes, you'll see why. So here he has an extra six to play, whereas here he does not. So that gives white a little bit more timing. Uh, so it makes it a little bit more urgent for black to have to break the contact now. So that was the lesson for this pay now versus pay later position. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please place in the comments below what you think, what you'd like me to work on in future videos, and I'll take care of that. Thank you again to Mark Olson, Bill Riles, Backgammon Galaxy, and Ace Point Backgammon for allowing me to use this video uh, in the video, the position in the video, and I'll see you next time.